this idea of literally a scattering or a clenching or a gathering, right? Bi yu tuo in Chinese, the sealing in or the flaccening out, uh, is important because we're all going to memorize that Ren Zhong revives the spirit. But in what situation? Any situation? All situations? The reality is this point will revive a spirit that's become too scattered out, that's gone uh, this way, right? And then this pressure in here and then needling it causes the shun, the whole spirit to go, whoa! And they, they look right at you immediately, right? But if someone's got this going on and you needle here, nothing happens. They don't, they don't suddenly wake up, right? Not every point does everything. And so we have to be aware of what's going on with the chi that would make this point effective for this or that point effective for something else. Right? And this point is a gathering point. It's a very powerful gathering point. But if the, if the person's in a coma because things are gathered, you're going to poke here, and they're not going to go the and wake up for you, which I, mean, I don't know how many of us has. But I, you know, the, when you teach a lot of the the Daoyin seminars that we've been teaching over the years, this, the pulling chi, the eight sounds, the, all of these things, I mean, we've been doing this for a really long time, since 93. Uh, invariably, people pass out because whatever's going on with them and they get a little woozy or whatever happens. And so in any tour, when we used to do tours, there'd at least be at least one person who passes out, and then you go, bop, the person's there. You get to use this. Uh, but if the person had something that was going in, it wouldn't work. 